With hundreds of millions of people unemployed, no question the world needs more jobs. But in some places, there are jobs that are just waiting to be filled. And sometimes, in some sectors, there are jobs to be had or created, but no available workers with the skills to fill them. Most of the world's population have very low levels of education and lack basic technical and cognitive skills. A skilled labor force can help reduce poverty, increase productivity, even transform whole economies if workers have the right kinds of skills. Even people who attend schools, vocational centers and universities might not acquire the right skills that are needed to land a job. That's not only about job-specific skills, behavioral skills matter too. Firms often complain about the lack of qualified workers. So how do we get workers and firms to invest in the right skills? In many cases, businesses take care of their own training, like in India, where IT companies organized and financed very successful training for workers in their industry. But on-the-job training can be expensive, and in some cases, firms won't offer it because of concern that the returns would be too small or concern that other firms will poach their newly skilled workers. There are many things that governments have tried to do to help, providing training directly, subsidizing vocational training, and providing financial incentives for firms to train from within. For instance, in 1996, Costa Rica persuaded tech giant Intel to establish a $300 million semiconductor plant. The facility gave rise to new means of building skills, including training programs and a technical college. But we still don't know which policies work best, and certainly what works in one place might not work in another. What do you think? What policies are needed to close the skills gap in your country? Help find the solutions. Join us at the Jobs Knowledge Platform. Connect with us through social media and share your thoughts in the Working Wiki.